made happy now you're telling me it's over Next, you know we're getting older When all we do is trying, it only makes us stronger Hi, Ryan. Yes, yeah, if it's flat. Thank you. Oh, we're in. Here we are in London, me and Rachel. It's been a long journey, 25 hours and playing, it's exhausting. And we're here to show you guys some great videos all about London. Trafalgar Square is one of the main squares in central London and a very popular place to visit. In London, there's many great free things to do. This is one of them, Trafalgar Square. There's a beautiful fountain in the middle of the square with heaps of striking statues to take some photos. Heading to the British Museum. Let's go. It's completely free to enter the British Museum and it is massive. We're at Paddington Station. We're looking for Paddington Bears. It's pretty massive actually. I'm quite surprised. Paddington Station is a large open plan station and one of the draw cards is of course the Paddington Souvenir Shop, filled with everybody's favourite bear. Look, I found Paddington with a Rachel name on it. If you love Paddington Bear like us, it's a great place to pick up some souvenirs. Here we are at the Intendant. Obviously, oh, it's a hard to come by in London, but we found one. It's a cafe. Let's go check it out. The Intendant is a quirky place. Once a public bathroom, it has since been turned into a cafe. <laughs> That was the attendant, an amazing place. It used to be a public urinal, and now it's a really cool cafe. So it's our first morning of ordered the full English breakfast. As you do, it's your first morning in London, and also just the tea to go with it. So I can't wait. It's tea in London. If you come to London, you simply must try a full English breakfast. We're doing Notting Hill tour, so we're going to find the Notting Hill locations. Taking a stroll through Notting Hill is a lovely experience, and if you love the movie, it's a great place to spot some locations used in the film. We even managed to find the main house in the movie. We are finally in Serial Killer Cafe, and we were waiting for this for a really, really long time. I can't wait to show you inside and I'm gonna be with this fattening and we will taste yummy cereal. Let's go! Cereal Killer Cafe is perfect for all you cereal lovers out there. If you want to have some cereal any time of the day, then this is a must-see place on your list. There's such a wide international variety and you can make your own cereal cocktails. Milk ratio? Pretty good, I reckon. It's all about the milk ratio when it comes to the cereal. It's all kind of strawberry picky. Mm. That is very, very sweet. Mmm. With the milk, really good. Having this now in a cafe makes me realise why are there not more cereal cafes? It's really, really nice. Downstairs, there is a really quirky vibe with plenty of cartoons and posters with nostalgia in mind. Take a stroll through Little Venice and experience the canal lined up with boats. We are in Little Venice, so this is like a little canal. And I'm in front of a cafe that is just literally a boat and we're gonna try some yummy snack and with a coffee. Let's get in!
Waterside Cafe is a cool little cafe tucked away inside a boat, anchored up in the canal. We've heard about Jack and Potatoes and a lot of British shows we've been watching. Um, the latest one, Cuckoo, I don't know if you've watched that. He started a Jack and Potato business. Business is booming. Who dares say wicked food is shit? It's damn yummy. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. So yummy. Camden has a real punk rock vibe and it also contains one of the best markets in London. Camden Market has heaps of shops and stores to satisfy your shopping needs. There's also many options for street food from food trucks located in the market. We are just in front of Brick Lane Market. So a lot of things are happening. Let's see. Brick Lane is one of our favourite places in London, and the market works perfectly lined up down this narrow lane. This is a exciting part, which is food part. Mm, specifically, bread. smells amazing in the food section, absolutely incredible. There is plenty to see, do and eat when you visit here. I've never seen ramen um, and street food in Melbourne, so this is a very... Mmm, oishi, yummy. A nice cold London morning. Ramen, street food, works perfectly. The salt in the broth really hits you and it wakes you up. It's nice and warm. It's so, it's so yummy. I'm gonna try some of the meat. Mmm, oishi. Mmm, very yummy. It's actually very, very clear and it's got you so vintage clothing. Yummy food and a lot of craft. And so, if you are into these things, you must check this place out. Bagel Bake is also conveniently located down Brick Lane. Loving it. I expect it like um, Colombian beef, but it's not at all, it's more like um, uh, American barbecue style beef. I'm loving it. You also can't go past seeing the Big Ben and the London Eye. Westminster Abbey too. Here we are at Big Bop Cafe, it's another great cheap eats in London. Um, also, we love Korean food, so we're going to try it out. Uh, Korean food always just lifts me up, even when I'm down. Um, it's just, it's really nice. Authentic? It tastes. Um, compared to the other Korean restaurants I've gone to in Melbourne, um, and also in Korea as well too, uh, it tastes quite authentic. Here we are at Zipper Blatt in Shoreditch. This place is really interesting. You pay per minute that you're actually here. So it's quite interesting and here, you to press the button to get in. So it's a co-working space, so this place you just go there to chill out, work. Um, we don't really know, I don't really know what to expect about this place, so let's check it out. Hey, Hi, right. Yeah, zip it flat. Thank you. Oh, we're in. So here we are, we're in zip it flat. I don't really know where the hell we're going next. <laughs> If you're into unique places like we are, then we highly recommend you make a stop off at Zifferblatt. This place is amazing, it's like a communal living room. Um, you've got teas, coffee, biscuits, anything, so you just pay per, per hour that you're here. And then everything is available, so it's almost like coming to someone's house. It's absolutely the most original place I think we've gone to on this channel. It's unique because it's a pay per minute cafe. You can help yourself to the fridge and also the biscuits in the kitchen. There's also a coffee machine where you can help yourself to as much coffee as you like.
Covent Garden is a great place to visit if you're into street performance. It's a very popular and busy place and you never know who you might run into. The Moomin Shop is a cute souvenir shop selling everything Moomin. If you're a foodie like us, then you'll be very excited when surrounded by all the food stores here at Burrow Market. The food choices here seem endless as there is just so many to choose from. We couldn't go past trying the scotch egg which looks so delicious. Here I'm going to taste my first scotch egg. Let's see how it tastes. Look at this. Mm. Mm. My first thought is a really herby kind of sausage. And then you get the egg. Let's grab a bit of the runniness of it. Very, very yummy. I don't know why this doesn't exist in Australia. This is something that we should have adopted. Absolutely delicious scotch egg. I'll quickly give a go of this sweet potato fry. Spot on. Yum. Absolutely yum. Crispy. You've got the taste of the sweet potato, but it's not it's too sweet because I think a too sweet potato, it just doesn't go well as a chip. This one's really, really nice. There is also the chance to do some taste testing before buying. Soho is one of our favourite places in London, so definitely swing by there. We are just in front of Eminem World, which is a smack bang of Leicester Square. M&M's world takes you into a world of fun and a lot of chocolate. This place smells so good. There's also many souvenirs to choose from. Here we are at Hip Chips, which is a, a potato crisps or potato chips only restaurant. So they've got heaps of different chips. That's all they've got, so it sounds really interesting. If you like chips or crisps, then Hip Chips is a restaurant made for you. Ah, what an amazing experience. You get to choose your own chip, and they gave us a little taste test already. Amazing. Um, but they also, you get to choose dips as well too. So we've got the smoky cheese fondue. The cheesecake. Ooh. Okay, so this is the savory one. Mm. Dip it in the fondue. I oh, can already tell it's going to be amazing. Mm. It's nice and warm. Mm, cheesy. Oh, it goes together perfectly. You won't find anything but chips here, but don't worry as they have you covered with both savory and sweet and with many dips to choose from. So the sweet chip with um, the cinnamon on it was so yum by itself, but then when you dip it into the cheesecake, oh, and with a bit of strawberry that's on the, the, the cheesecake, it's just so yummy, so yummy, and it really goes together. Who would have thought hip chips, it works. This is another place we're going on our cheap eats tour of London. So this place is called Pico. Let's go check it out. This place doesn't only serve some of the best pizza, but they also do it for an incredibly cheap price. A trip to London definitely requires a visit to Buckingham Palace. So this is uh, Buckingham Palace. You can't get in there, so, which is kind of a shame, but it's a beautiful day to come to a palace. We were at our first British pub um, on our trip, having a pint, as you do. Because I don't think pubs exist here actually. They only go for the big, big pints. Here we 
here at the Tower of London, on the Tower Bridge as we speak. You can see in the background. The bridge has incredible views. Here we are at Hermann's the German, and we came to this place because we actually did a video with Sandy Makes Sense. And the place really intrigued us. It's a great cheap eats in London, and we're gonna go check it out. You choose how you want your meal, making it more catered to your tastes. Currywurst is definitely not what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yummy? Mm. Very yummy. The chips are very nice. Hot dogs are my absolute favorite food in the world, and Herman knows how to make a great one. The Hackney Pirates have a great cafe called The Ship of Adventures, located in Dalston. While you're in Dalston, head to the Eastern Curve Garden. If you're into street art, we found Shoreditch is definitely the suburb to check out. So we are in a fish and chip shop. This is the first time we try British style fish and chips. And uh, they've got a style of fishes. Because in Australia they usually use flake, which is chop. But here they use uh, food. And we order a pie, it's big pie as well. And this restaurant, I'm loving it because it's got a very American vibe. I think they made an American kind of 60s thing with the music. I'm just in front of Bucks Park, which is a very, very cool place to hang out when you're in shortage. Ground floor have lots of um, clothing shops, and upstairs there are lots of restaurants and pubs. And it's got free Wi Fi as well. So let's check that out. We just passed one country. Now. It's a great place to hang out in Shoreditch and has a bustling atmosphere. This is a good place to use some Wi-Fi. Just near High Street, it's a definite addition to your list. Finally, how can you go past a cat cafe? Lady Diners is a really relaxing cafe which just so happens to be filled with very adorable little cats. The place has cute little nooks for the cats to hide in or play and they are treated really well here. If you're someone who really loves their cats then I can't stress enough that this cafe is a must visit place when you come to London. It doesn't matter what kind of cat you're interested in as all the cats have their cute and quirky personalities and it's fun to play with them while having a nice mug of hot chocolate. Thanks you for watching, we really hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it, click like down below or comment also down below if you've been to any of these places, if you'd like to go to any of these places. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of content and you can see more of this kind of stuff and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!